pre-cut Webflow themes, floating shelves. What the hell is going on? Today, I'm gonna to show you the 26 fastest growing business ideas backed by Google Data so that you can get something started. My friends at explodingtopics.com and I put together this list for you to go start your business today. If you've been waiting to start your own side hustle or find the golden idea, this is a video for you. Hit that like button and leave a comment with another business idea maybe we missed. You can go copy these ideas and get a business going right now. Let's dive in. All right, first off is TikTok lights. So TikTok is growing like hell. So how do you support growing systems? Sell to all the people becoming TikTokers or if people are popular on YouTube. Go help them move it on to TikTok. Number two, virtual tours. So real estate housing, traveling, whatever it is. How can you create either technology or assist realtors or whoever it is? Maybe you can hit up realtors and said, hey, I will go to these houses and help you film it so you can put it online and make your sales. Number three, plant delivery. Who would have thought? My mom is super into plants, especially now that everyone's stuck at home, they wanna make their homes nicer. Can you do a flower subscription service or a flower delivery service? That's growing really fast, check that out. Number four, Laptop stands, roof stand is one that's gone really popular. So many people working from home. What other things like desks or chairs or tables can you actually provide for them? Number five, tabletop games. This is one of my favorite business ideas that everyone can do. I know my friend Napone has been doing this, is that create board games or table games to sell people. Give people to do things to socialize and hang out with their friends and family while they're stuck at home. Number six, pre-cut. What the hell is that? It's basically crocheting and activities to do at home. So think about it. if you're into crocheting or knitting. I know my friend Harrison from Furo's Crochet has blown up a really huge business around it. Let's keep going. Number seven, TikTok influencers. Yes, TikTok is gigantic. So can you help people on YouTube, me or Instagram, someone else, and get them over to TikTok and help them create videos. Or businesses, you know, companies like AppSumo, we started experimenting with it. Maybe you can create an agency and go to different companies and say, hey, let me work for free or let me do it for one month and show you how I can build you an audience. Number eight, resistance bands. Gyms are closed most everywhere. Also, the weights are sold out everywhere and they're expensive. So resistance bands have blown up. Those are the bands that you can like just basically do body weight exercises with or you can stretch with them. I've really loved them. I bought them on Amazon, but I think they're sold out everywhere. If not, that's a great business idea for you to go create for other people or what else can you do to help people create at home exercises. Number nine, Gucci, 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 designer Gucci masks. Gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci. Everyone's wearing masks these days. Can you do super premium? Can you do super unique? Can you do the Batman one? It's uh, whatever that guy's name is. Number 10, subscription boxes. CrateJoy.com is a buddy of mine. I love those guys. They have subscription boxes for food, subscription boxes for local. People are stuck at home, so getting packages is now more fun than ever. Can you create a subscription box business? Number 11, this one really surprised me. Posture corrector, and we'll, we'll put something out from what's on Amazon, but there's basically a thing that supports your neck. If people are working from home, Ergonomics actually matter. And so can you actually create more things to help people with their posture while they're at home? Number 12, standing desks. A company called Autonomous is who I buy a lot of my desks from. They're great price, but there's also Jarvis, Fully.com and a bunch of other places you can get standing desks. I think the concept here, especially around business ideas, is if people are stuck at home, can you bring them flowers that we talked about plant delivery? Can you improve their office setup? Can you make their board game or activities at home? I think that's conceptually where you can start thinking about how have you made your life better for yourself so you can start making it for other people. Number 13, foot masks. I don't know where these people come up with this stuff, but I guess you make your foot into a mask. No, I'm just kidding. It's basically like taking care of your body, pedicures and manicures and all this stuff. So now feet, they're important. I guess if you got that weird ass foot fetish. So can you create things to help people love themselves more and take care of their bodies more while they're at home? I know my friend Jamie started a facial business while she's at home. Number 14, start a newsletter. Uh, so companies like sendfox.com, which is free as well as substack.com, the best way that you can build a business over a very long period of time is build a tribe. And the best way to start a tribe consistently help those people. So if you have any expertise or any knowledge or you're a content creator, you can use them or sendfox.com, which is free as well, and start your community now and build it. So in 10 years, imagine how large of a tribe that you may have. Number 15, some of this stuff is weird. I actually have these at homes. It's floating shelves. How do I make my home more enjoyable? So floating shelves and other ways of decorating people's houses. So their houses are, wow, I really like being at home. And I think especially the way that office space is gonna be evolving, home offices are gonna be even bigger. Number 16, YouTube captions. I guess you could sell those to people. I'm not really sure. I think there's actually an opportunity around the YouTube captions where take people's videos and actually turn it into other types of content, either content they could put in other places or turn into PDFs or books for them and then send it to these, these creators and say, here's what I've made for you. I think you'd be surprised that you can create your own business doing that. It's very, very straightforward. And you just send me something valuable. Of course, I'm gonna be interested in something about myself that I can promote to other people. Number 17, so a friend of mine had this jade roller. They're the green things you roll on your face. Scientifically, it's not proven 
But again, I think what's interesting here is that more people are at home, more people like me are taking collagen and want to stay younger forever. So are there tools, maybe not drop shipping, but maybe you can invent or find that you love yourself that you can use to promote and sell to all of your friends. Number 18, this is one that's really exciting is my buddy's over at Webflow. And so Webflow themes is one of the fastest growing business ideas right now. Webflow is kind of like the new WordPress that's a little bit easier, a little bit sexier, a little bit better looking. I know my buddy Anton from Nanosyn has been using them. I think of this as kind of like the iPhone model uh, or the WordPress model or the Shopify model, which is what are popular platforms that you can build and make a business off of. So like Facebook games and Webflow is one of the biggest ones up and coming. So can you create themes or products to sell to this really fast and large growing community? 19 kind of like on a similar topic is Figma tutorial. So if you haven't heard of them, it's a design product. And so again, people are creating tutorials and that is growing extremely quickly. And by the way, check out the guys at explodingtopics.com. They gave us this amazing data so that you can know the fastest growing business ideas and take advantage of them for yourself. Uh, number 20, bar cart. We're all at home, we're all stuck, we're all drinking. I know I'm a tequila whiskey guy, uh, sometimes non-alcoholic beers. But again, can you help people create more enjoyable environments at home? So bar carts are blowing up. What other things can you provide around that? What other things have you already built for yourself uh, that you can provide to other people as well? Start with your friends, your coworkers, people at your church or synagogue. Uh, they need these kind of things as well. 21, product strategy. So if you think about what's happening is more people are working from home, more people are distributed, more people are trying to build web-based businesses, e-commerce, info businesses, SaaS-based businesses, uh, knowledge-based businesses, how do you help people decide better strategy as well as how do you help them effectively run a remote business? And I think there's a lot more people thinking remote's popular, like my aunt who's been a therapist, she has an offline business moving it online. Uh, 22, throw pillows. So again, this is coming back to that major theme of how do you improve someone's house? How do you make it more enjoyable to be home? A lot more people, probably yourself more than ever are saying, I'm spending more on my chairs. I'm spending more on my decorations. I'm willing to make my house a little bit nicer because maybe I'm not spending as much on other things. Uh, or if I'm working from home, I want it to be more enjoyable and throw pillows are one of them. So make pillows for people. 23, Shopify apps. E-commerce, bigger than ever. You all know about Shopify. You've all heard about these apps, uh, but they're big. We've actually made them. I think our Sumo app on Shopify has made about a million dollars, but I've got to tell you that if there's money to be made, there's going to be a lot of competition. Uh, our new app, Fam, has made about $20,000, but that's after we spent a million to make it. Similar to the Webflow theme, similar to like Figma tutorial. What are popular technical tools or technical platforms you can either teach people or piggyback on? Uh, again, with Shopify, it's gonna be a lot harder than it seems. So I would be specific. And personally, what I'd recommend is if you've built some tool for yourself that's working really well, then consider making it a Shopify or Webflow or WordPress or just web-based app. 24, AWS, Oz course. What the hell is that? Amazon Web Services. So companies like ours, we spend about 40 to $50,000 a month on our Amazon web hosting bill. Uh, there's courses so you can teach people. I know we have a guy at our company who makes a good salary. Og, you're the best. So help teach other people how to actually run these servers, help more people get onto Amazon uh, and use it. But there's also Azure with uh, Microsoft and then there's the Google one, whatever it is. But can you actually teach more people to become that so they can have high paying jobs as more businesses are coming online? Uh, 25 podcast show notes. Yeah, podcast show notes, they're big. I think one of the things to think about is multiplying content checklists or how do you take one dish and serve it in multiple places. So with podcast show notes, if I've made a podcast, our show notes for us haven't actually driven more Google traffic through SEO, but you can take those show notes and put them up on Twitter. Take those show notes and turn them into a cool Instagram, or maybe create a cool TikTok video, or create a core thing or a LinkedIn post. So I think it's not as much just creating show notes for people, but it's how can you repurpose that and provide that for different content creators or business owners to expand the pie. I think with podcasts, what I've learned is the pie doesn't really expand in terms of the audience, but take the podcast, make a video, and put it out on YouTube and things like that. And the final 26 idea, this is my mom's favorite thing, is deep cleaning services. Uh, if your office, just like us, we're going back into our office, we're gonna pay a lot of money to do a deep clean to make sure it's super sanitized. So if you're into cleaning, if you've been stuck at home, maybe you can go help other people with deep cleaning services. Leave a comment right now with which was your favorite business idea or one that maybe I didn't talk about. And more importantly, go take one of these business ideas, especially if you don't have one or the one you don't have is not great and get started today. One of the best things I've ever realized is that it takes about 10 years to make a million dollars. And so the reality is if you start today and stick with it, you will get there. If you like this video and wanna learn another one, check out my Sumo Jerky video about how I made $1,000 profit in 24 hours. I'll see you guys out there. I love you.